Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Holly. Today I'm going to be planning the week of Thanksgiving in my personal planner. And the kit I'm gonna be using is this Gobble Till You Wobble kit, which is such a funny name, um, from Caress Press. It's one of her personal kits. So I'll just go ahead and show you what we have here. The full boxes, some like glitter header washi kind of deal, a small weekly list, very cute functional deco, all of this functional stuff. I'll just walk through it. You guys will see me use it. And so going to go ahead and pop these out and get started. Okay, so I'm just going to hop on a voiceover here because I always get so distracted during my personal plan with me's. I don't know why. I just, I feel like I trail off constantly. So anyway, just laying down those interior strips. They were a tad too thick, but I attribute that more to the so much crafting inserts than to caress press. I really feel like sizing varies across these inserts and sometimes things aren't completely straight. But anyway, I went ahead and punched those holes in off camera and now I am laying down that top left weekly list. I would normally use that for dinners, but since it's a weird week with Thanksgiving, I'm gonna use it for my upload schedule uh, just on YouTube. And so I just put a this week header down. And on top of that in the sidebar, I will add some deco later, but I'll come back to that. And then on Monday, I'm using one of those Bill Do, uh, the little bill do uh what are those called like a quarter box or just a strip but uh, i'm just going to cover up the bill do with a sneaker icon from planner s just to mark down that i want it i had a workout i planned that morning and then i added a quarter box with a little cup of coffee because i'm getting a coffee with a student from my uh, the, my alumni or where I'm an alumni from uh she's interested in what I do for a living and so she's offered to take me out to coffee to ask questions so I thought that was nice and of course we are already breaking out the undo uh the, the theme of this spread is going to be undo caress press stickers and so much crafting paper especially do not play nice to with each other they just tend to I don't know even if you just like set it down lightly it snags so I had to break it out a lot. Anyway, at the bottom there, I am just using stuff from the kit to uh, make a little list that for YouTube tasks I wanted to do that night. So I took one of those glitter kind of headers and labeled it over or layered it over a little list and put a laptop on top to kind of signify those are like the YouTube things I wanted to get done that night because that was going to be the main night that I had time to do YouTube. And then on Tuesday, I just added a TV little thing at the bottom because I have a couple of TV shows. I uh, plan to sit down and actually watch that night and I didn't have too much else going on like I didn't have anything going on in the morning um, besides the exercise class in that quarter box so I added a full box to that day and that little weights icon is from a Lexi Kylie Designs sampler uh, sheet with that just goes with this kit really well and actually the paper goes really well too her paper feels kind of similar to Caress Press so it like, I don't know, something about that made me happy. Uh, anyway, I laid down another bill due to mark a work workout, but I realized I didn't want the bill due text to be poking through. So I switched it out for just this plain little strip and I layered another uh, item from Lexi Kylie Designs, uh, the little orange sneaker over that strip. And then I am just gonna use an asterisk little thing to mark down that I wanted to try to leave work early. I know we still, we won't, we're gonna be driving like an hour and a half away and like, there's no way we're gonna beat traffic, but I can at least try, <laughs> you know, we can at least try to like get, not be sitting on the road until like eight o'clock at night. So I uh, put that little uh, suitcase there to signify we're doing an overnight, uh, layered that on top of a flag just uh, until we'll come back Thursday night, but going up to see some of my husband's family. And then I put a little list with a glitter header to mark down the things I wanted to remember to bring because we have to bring some supplies. On to Thanksgiving, I put that scene of like food and pie because you know, it's Thanksgiving dinner, you have to do something. And I am trying to put a TV little thing there to layer down that uh, I want to make sure we watch football and in retrospect I never put anything down about the parade either so this will be the first year that like my mom is not with us for Thanksgiving at all so I'm trying to keep some of the traditions we do alive which is like watching the parade um, kind of sad that my mom won't be here but um, it's okay I'll, <laughs> I'm an adult I'll get over it uh, and anyway so I put that TV little thing down for 
uh, to mark down football games. I just use the little deco turkey on top of a quarter scallop to mark down Thanksgiving dinner. And then I just use that little asterisk at the bottom to mark down that we're coming home that night. And then on Friday, I'm using that trick again with the glitter header and a little list with an icon layered over it. And this time I used a shopping bag to, of course, mark down Black Friday. So those are like my priority shops for Black Friday, although I'm just going to eventually write down stickers in all caps because obviously stickers is a priority. Again, breaking out the undo because I realized I wanted to mark down a going outside for a run that day. I do have Black Friday off of work, so I'll be able to run midday, not at the butt crack of dawn, so that'll be exciting. And I'm just taking the little kettlebell icon from the kit, even though I'll be running, not doing kettlebells, but that's fine. And that night, I just use more stuff from the kit to mark down, uh, just gonna have like a relaxing me night, me time night. Cause I know it'll, my sleep will be kind of weird. I'll go to bed really late from Black Friday and I kind of want to get up early and go to Home Depot for poinsettias, 99 cent poinsettias. But anyway, so it'll be a kind of a lazy night. And then on to Saturday, I have a workout class in the morning. Again, used one of those Lexi Kylie Designs weights. Then we're just gonna go get groceries and we are going out to dinner for a date night. So everything else there is from the kit. I really didn't pull in much besides my normal workout stickers. I think everything else was from the kit. She has like pretty much everything you'd want. So on Sunday, I'm adding a couple of TVs to mark down the Bills game, which is a football game, and Westworld later that night. And then that day, I will just be kind of doing some planning and filming and probably getting like laundry and chores done. So I'm just making like a little list with some of the tiny hearts she includes and layering that over a glitter header. And now I'm going to add the weekend banner. I whited out the dates uh, like I normally do and just layered that over there. And then I wanted to get that girl up top because I realized I had too many like full boxes left for my grid bar. So I pulled up that this week header using undo. Um, as I always say, undo is magic. <laughs> and so I pulled that up and just laid down that girl there and just trimmed off the top because it, it overhung just a teeny bit. Now I'm putting some deco in, but I will come back later and add more once I figure out what I have left after my grid bar is done. So I'm adding that gobble till you wobble quote box up there. I think that is so cute. And then just putting some habits. I was really glad she included some habits in here because when my Erin Condren spreads don't have habits in them, I do like to put some in my personal planner. Then I just did a this week header with a list for the priority work items for the week. Just, you know, it's a short week, so I won't have that much done. So I only needed the one or won't have that much to do. So I only use the one. And then I'm using the little cell phone layered on top of a glitter header. And that's just kind of my all purpose, like personal to do. Some of it's calls, but some of it's like I need to, you know, I need to send an email about something, that kind of thing. And then I'm using the errands header to mark down some errands because I do want to do a few things over the weekend since I do have the extra day off, um, just like going to the dry cleaner, things like that. And then I'm taking the cleaning day icon and layering that over a, a glitter header for my cleaning list for the week. Obviously, it's not a cleaning day, but I think it gets the point across. And then just taking some deco in the middle there because I realized I kind of had some space to fill up. And I am finally just doing a next week list. And here, instead of using another checklist, I just layered some asterisks for things to note for the following week. And so that's my grid bar. Now I'm going back in. There's so many tiny pieces of deco in this kit. It's so cute. I feel like I'm impressed with how much she can squeeze into such a tiny kit. Like I, you'll see at the end, I do have leftovers and I am so like surprised at, I guess that because it felt like this was a really full kit and there's still a lot of deco and everything. And I'm here, you can see I'm struggling to even find places to fit it all in. Okay guys, so I am all done with this spread. I love how it looks. I definitely had to use a lot of undo as you saw, just cause I kept kind of changing my mind on how I wanted to organizing it, but I'm really glad with how it turned out. And I think it came together really nicely. So let me uh, pop in the sidebar as well so I can show you guys that. I haven't filled out the back yet, but um, like how that looks. And let me show you guys what I have left in this Caress Press personal kit. So on this sheet, still have several little things left and a few uh, quarter boxes, which is nice. Um, used up most of the deco and icons, didn't use a lot of the circle icons and just have a few flags left and then a few glitter headers. So make good use of this kit, but I think you get 
a super decorative spread here um, and obviously I still had leftovers for a fairly small sized kit. It doesn't feel that big but it packs a lot into a little space so definitely like this format. I think it's a lot of fun for the personal size. Let me know down below if you've tried a crust press personal kit and if you enjoy them. The paper uh, or the sticker paper she uses is definitely even harder than usual to use on the So Much Crafting paper, uh, which is very, just very fragile paper, but Undo does make it work great. So if you haven't gotten that yet and you use So Much Crafting inserts, definitely pick it up on Amazon. Actually, I'll leave a link to that below as well, just in case that's helpful. And yeah, that's it for this video. Give, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I hope you guys, if you are Americans, have a great Thanksgiving holiday. Otherwise, just have a great week and I will be back soon with another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.